I understand that you're a nice kid who grew up in the suburbs, but you have a love of what you call like extreme culture or sort of oddball culture or things that are slightly off the beaten path that you have an extreme curiosity for. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Where does that come from and how does that play out in making your work mainstream? Or is there a level you know you'll always sort of be at a certain level because the mainstream might react to personal? Oh, I don't know. I think the mainstream is wel more welcoming these days for stuff that's a little uh, left of center or offbeat. But, you know, there's always, you know, people that push it and extremes. I mean, look, you can, I mean, I used to, uh, Sideshow was always, I've always been interested in circus sideshows, and I got to do a documentary for the Travel Channel um, in 2003. Uh, f and that was like a dream job because I, I love that subject. But you used to have to go to the circus to see a heavily tattooed person. Now you just have to go to, you know, Venice Beach or anywhere in the country. I mean, it's not, so the, the mainstream has embraced a lot of um, more extreme, more extremes in, in popular culture. Um, and I think uh, uh, I, I'm still interested myself in, in offbeat material, offbeat, but, but it has to strike me. I mean, if I'm going to do a project, I, I, I just, something has to click and resonate with me to want to do something if it's um, ambitious. Sometimes it's more whimsical and I can just do something, a short video, and it won't be as involved or laborious as a, a feature length project. But um, no, I always have just, I've never really psychoanalyzed it. I just think that it's something that I know that um, I just, I've always been curious and I've always been interested in like, you know, the back pages of magazines. I go to the back first, you know, and to the classified ads. Or just the more, you know, just a little, like what's going on underneath the surface. I'm sure there's a, a, a good uh, therapist bill in there somewhere trying to get to the bottom of it. But it's always been, um, ever since I was a kid, something that, you know, I've always, I'm a collector. I collect things, comic books, records, books which is a problem now <laughs> because I, I don't know what to do with it all. But I have um, uh, always just been interested in stuff and I've been interested in oral history and I've been interested in an in unusual history. And, uh, and, and I think also I then, you then find people, you have find kindred spirits that are interested in the same things. And you then kind of build up a network of friends and associates and people speak the same language. And, um, but I've also, you know, I, I like mainstream culture too. I mean, I'm very interested in just everything that's that's going on and kind of how it all just, you know, um, you know, is part of this big landscape that we uh, live in culturally, and uh, you know, with things that just, you know, the stuff that I'm reading about. You know, I I, I mean, I'll still I'll still will go to the back pages of magazines. <laughs> <laughs>